Wada Wunyanko Pwase, Wabambo and Wadim, the healthy life he has given to you, even giving you this beautiful day. He said, time that you have to thank him and bless him for this beautiful day. Shall we all pray? We give you the glory, oh my Father. We thank you, we bless your holy name, my God, for the beautiful day. We thank you, Father, there's nothing we can say about thanking you. It's only thanking you that we can only say to unto you, because you were a true Father. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, my Lord, we thank you. We give you the glory, we give you the honor. Because you are God, give our Masuka Yanaba. We bless your holy name. Don't you hear one pair of years to deem a jay a Jumanyanasha ever than Sir? Yamupo and Bibia and the Matanasia are not Traumuno, only a kind of dinner. Father, we are thanking you once more and committing the program into your hands. We pray for your grace, your protections and guidance. We pray for your leadership in whatever we do here, oh my Father. We thank you, we give you the glory. We thank you, we give you the glory. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say because you deserve it father we plan for today but if you have not given us today we would have made so all we say from our heart is that father we bless your holy name and thank you my god again lifting up the program into your hands that you will take the family leadership of everything and at the end of it father we we'll continue to bless you again we thank you father in jesus name amen Ye ji wu dina ye asafo ye hoa o nya me to onfo ye wu di ajo nya me o nya me to wu di ajo nya me o nya me to onfo wu di alleluia Asafuera di e, o nyami e, o nyami tu, o nyami tu, o nyami e, o nyami tu, 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 o
Chile no, 
Praise the Lord. We are continuing the program by introducing some of our guests present this morning. By the grace of God, you are here. I'm also here. So you are warmly welcome. We want to respectively ask all area ministries executive to give us a wave if they are run. All area ministry executives. Thank God. We also have your Miss Hachu Area Dekin, the person of Elder Peter Tekpe. Give us a wave. We have our retired ministers, some of our retired ministers here present. That is, and mommy, give us a wave. You are warmly welcome. Then we have Hachu Area Ministries and Wife, Area Ministers and Wife. Hachu Area Ministers and Wives, give us a wave. You are all welcome. Uh, we also have Apostle Seth Kwame Fianko Labi and wife from Kenya, National Head in our midst. We have Reverend Professor Ike Labi, PRWC Atomic Associate Minister. And then we have in our midst Pastor Professor Williams Ellis and Mrs. Florence. Children's Ministry Director in our present. Then we have Apostle Vincent Ananidente and Mama, PMM Director, Executive Member, also in our midst. I'm your humble, humble servant. I'm also around. Uh, before I introduce the chairman of today's meeting, we have earpiece for our brothers uh, from the French Assembly. The earpiece is direct at my front there. Uh, uh, their leaders, the leaders who can interpret the English to French can go for the earpiece. And then let's see our brothers who can speak English, those who can only speak French. Can we see your hands, our Francophone brothers and sisters? Okay, so the interpreters can go for the earpiece and locate them later. And so that they can also profit of all that we are doing. Now, this morning, in chair, steering affairs is our own father. Our own father, Apostle Mike Kwame, a true, and Mama, executive member, and Kaneshi area head in our midst. Can we welcome our dad and mom? So at this point... I introduce the chairman to continue with the program. All right. Praise the Lord. Let me see your hand. Wave your hand to glorify the name of the living God. We thank God this morning for all what he's doing in our lives. Even the life given to us today is, is grace that the Lord has given that to us. As we, the secretary said, we shall be using the chi and the English interchangeably to help those who cannot understand the English. So we shall do our best because of the time. But I learned that today, both the English and the Akan have mixed together for one service. Uh, so probably it means we have two services uh, at the same time. Uh, if not a time constraint, we wanted to, maybe the message will be in English and interpret it in Chi. Uh, that will help us. Uh -huh. So that everybody will get be comfortable whatever you want to do. But the other things can be, be held interchangeably. That will help the system. Because it's two church services at the same time. Maybe our time we can add maybe 15 minutes to the time. It doesn't matter. Because it's two services uh, at the same time. But we shall manage the two hours that have been given to us. But if, if, so you understand me, if, Maybe we add some because of what we want to do. 
Uh, the purpose of meeting this morning is just we have to thank God for what he has done for the church for the past 10 years. Our dear Apostle Gisado was the IMD, International Mission Director for the church. So during this council meeting, his term of office as IMD ended. That the 10 years meritorious services ended during the council meeting. And he has more space ahead of him to continue the ministry. So the executive thought it wise for him to continue the, his ministry. And by God, his own chance, in his own way, when the transfer was made, he was posted to Hachu area here. Can you put your hands together? So we are here this morning to thank God for the life of the church. Thank God for the life of university here. Also thank God for what he's doing in his church. And also to welcome our new area head for Hachu area. In the person of Apostle Emmanuel Gisado and the family. So I want you to bring your spirit together as we move along with this service. Relax in your spirit. Give your spirit space. Because the Lord has many things to do in this area. Hallelujah. You know, Hacho, you are, you are blessed. IMD was elected from here. And they are bringing another IMD, former IMD to your place. That's wonderful. So I will call it divinely made God own opportunity times. So if we are here, I want you to make sure that you are able to bring up your spirit together so we can all praise God and we welcome our dear former international mission director in the person of Apostle Emmanuel Gisado and the family. If you agree with me, can you put your hands together for the Lord? On this note, we take our Bibles, read Psalm 95, 1 to 6. Psalm 95, 1 to 6. Ada Frederick Labi, who read English, and Akan Dickness Hannah Bonsu, who read the Akan. We can all come to upstage. Frederick Labi, Hannah Bonsu. Praise the Lord. We'll take our Bible reading from Psalm 95, from verse 1 to 6. I'm reading from the NIV version. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great king above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth. And the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Amen. Me kan ye fi asanti twi fronu Mumra ma yanto ani jenyum ema erade Mumra ye mo ose ma ye nkwaje abotan Mumra ye mfa aseda emra nanim na ye mfa nyum ni ehusie emma no na erade ye onyankopon kesie ne ohene kesie anyame nyina so ne nsam na asase mo hentade ewo Na me pon so 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 e wonno ono na epo wonno na ono na oye na asase pese nso na nsa na enwo na ye momra ma ye mutu enkoto ensori ewrade ye nyefo no enim amen predicates gisa mankwa na obedi no mra ye so ewrade We 
I gave you power. I gave you authority. I gave you dominion as my servant. I gave you everything you need, even to preach my word, even to reach out to the lost in everywhere that you went. The work is not over. The work is not over in the spirit realm. The work is not over. Never think it is over. Because I'm still in the business of looking out for the lost. I'm still looking out for them. Don't think it is over because it is not over. It is not over. This morning, I release unto you every grace that you need to continue. Every authority that you need to continue. Every power that you need to stand your ground against the foe. Receive my authority. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hina na yamfa aye ye man on kawo. Unkuto na wofata sa wuji aye ye. Obi ni wanim obi ni wachi. Yanya unko pa wati ase. Wuna wobon na sa yen na nan so wu won na. Yanya unko pon neon. Nyan sa yina wura neon. Tumi yina wura neon. Ana pay won ma. Yadi yaya ye. Yadi yan in ton tom. En yade maun. Ewa ye su di munti. Amen. take a hymn I'm pressing on the upward way please shall we rise to our feet as we sing the first stanza and the chorus I'm pressing on the upward way I'm 
to be with his church. And we send a special greetings from our dear chairman and the rest of the executive council members. For this special wonderful day in the life of our dear apostle Emmanuel Jesado and the family. Today is welcome service. For him to begin as an area head of Hachu area. He has been an international mission director for 10 good years. He has been a missionary. And today he's starting as an area head Hachu area. It's a wonderful time in his ministry. Uh, we hear the prophecy, the prophecy that came. That he has not finished the work yet. He's going to give him authority and grace to continue the work. This morning, the message we want to share with you, I have entitled, have, Do not remain here. Seek to pursue higher heights. So it means in correlation with the prophetic message that we came. Do not remain here, all of us. Seek to pursue higher heights. We want to read two main text messages. Let me try to do a few exegesis and exposition on the message. Philippians chapter 3. Philippo for one whom I to fourteen. If we into Chemudu, me and new Ecosi do nine. The book of Philippians, chapter three, twelve to fourteen. Philippo for one whom I a Timian son into Chemudu, me and new Cosi do nine. NIV. Not that I have already obtained all these or have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of that which for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me to heavenward 
in Christ Jesus. Amen. Philip of all whom are a team and son, and she would do me a new echo see do nine or say, and yes, I mean, say, yaka, and now say, may yame repay it, dada. Name, um, may come any mara, na men saka, said the Christon so in sa camino, and yanum, media, means this is a men say, yaka, be now so, a dear bark, and I may it, me mammy re free, dear chemino, na me chemimu. Me pet dear a woman name no. Me dem recamere pebo tiny home drew. Na makunya or so fre, ninyan coupon na ma na makunya or so fre out on yan coupon nam Christo yesumu a friend mumu in kunim buono. Amen. Amen. We pick this another text. Deuteronomy chapter one, six to seven. Mose oma etosunum no in chichemu etinsia. And it's about one. It's about in six and seven. Can you project that so people can see it? Deuteronomy chapter one, six to seven. Mose Homa etosunum with you with the peace. It's about con into Chemusia and then son. A radi ye yanko pon Cassatre yen wa horrib say. Bipo yi hot na ado son amamo. Mon nani mou hon in tun kwa amori fwa bipo ne in sa se a ebe me ho wo araba in papare neso, in papre neso. Bipo so ne in papre ne negeb ne in pwanu nina kenan fwa asa se so ne lebanon so in kodru esu kesye. Amen. So in English, the Lord our God said to us at Horeb, You have stayed long enough at this mountain. Break camp and advance into the hill country of the Amorites. Go to all the neighboring peoples in the Araba, in the mountains, in the western foothills, foot in the Negev, and along the coast, to the land of the Canaanites. And to the Lebanon, as for as for as the great river Ephrates. These are the two texts we want to look at it. Where in the Bible send me no I perceive. Ministers go and the ministers come. A software court now software bar. But preposition that we the members, we don't go any place. And no church say yeah, members need a hard yet. So the members have a continuous critical role to play in a church. It's members know yeah well a juma a twas why was he a di was as far as the area, the future of the area is concerned. So yeah, can't area no the dark one. Do we see that all the ministers that Apostle Ben Ben Queen was here for a short period. He went. He has began a letter as an international mission director. In two shots, so for you now to say, or smart for a demand Ben Queen. No, aha, they say we are IMD. And a new area head has come. Now for area head for Fraba. But you have not gone any place. Now, my dear, my call baby. Ah, it it proves it means there. And no I say you have a critical role to play. Oh, a juma So over the years, the Lord has been good to His church. And continue to be good to His church. Now, And it is something we must be grateful to God for this. Now, where you are there, what's your I want to ask you one big question. Have you arrived? Where the Lord went you to be, you have not arrived. Where drew baby a radi person will drew no. Have you gotten to the ultimate? Where drew in pen pen no. As far as God plan for the area is concerned, baby a radi person area ni drew no. If no, se unru wa. Then we have to mobilize ourselves. Ne e wase e kaya hupo um. For the next move of God in kato area. E wo nyamia juma ba kwa obe ye wo kato area. Are you getting me, church? What did you make? I said, if you have not, we have to mobilize ourselves as an area. area for the next move of God in this area. Hallelujah. Amen. So, in the moment of success, or achievement. There's always temptation to be complacent. And satisfied. Not wanting to push further. Oh, here we had IMD has left here. So I need IMD has come. So we are satisfied with that. that yeah, IMD Bakona, Okona Bakonso, Abba, in Yame. 
But the truth is, and so no say, there's always higher heights. We must home. aspire to reach that higher height. There are more territories to take as a church. There are more work in her to every here. So give your heart to the new area head. And move the area. Move the area need two and a month. So the objective of this my submission is to encourage all the church members. To rise up to bigger challenges. Ahead of us and inspire us to determine that we have to achieve more for the Lord. And I know we together with the Lord, we are a great army of God. Which is unconquerable. Ah, to me near so. Her to area is an unconquerable area. Her to area, what mean can you say? As a great army, say a stradon kesi. Here is a call. Where any of friend? Heavenly call to mobilize ourselves. Eh, a strong friend say can you hold on to lift up her to area. Now you empty her to area. Beyond where it is now. Every baby, what they say? Beyond what it is now. Every baby, what they say? That's my prayer. And the Lord will renew our strength. Our zeal. For a new move in this area. We have a part to play. Let's forget our differences. Differences, if there's any. To forget those differences. And come together as a church. And move this area. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's let do the exposition of the text and see what the Lord has for us. Philippians chapter 3, 7 to, as we read. Philippo 4, humano, etimian, san, entitemun, sono. Paul in his ministry had one concern. Now, how back the concern of Apostle Paul is forgetting what is behind him and straining forward. What is ahead of him? He had over the years achieved so much both in life and ministry. However, he sought to forget about the past. Why he focused on what was still ahead of him. For him, what was ahead was more critical than what he had been achieved. So this go to our dear apostle. We want you to understand that the Lord has many things for you to do. The time you go on retirement, there are more critical things ahead of you. You have to forget the past. I have been IMD. My IMD. I've been a missionary before. My missionary. That is past. That is past. But what is ahead of you? The church is expecting you to move beyond territory. To do greater heights. To do greater things. That's what the Lord wants you to do. That is the message for you and for the church. Forget what have you achieved behind. All what you have done, forget it. But forge ahead. That's the concern of Apostle Paul. You were concerned with conquering more territories. To the very end. Making good use of every least opportunity. Even in the midst of unfavorable conditions. Unfavorable conditions. Paul was still urging forward. Imprisonment. In Rome. In Rome. That's why he wrote the epistles. That are called prison epistles. Ephesians. Philippians, Colossians, Philemon, 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 and Second Timothy. Now, for Timothy, no, what all these things is in prison when you are trying to fiasse means that even on favorable conditions, the Lord has something to do with Apostle Paul. I trust and I know 
The brother that Paul said Jesus was going to spend at your area. Greater things is going to happen. He that we have not seen before, you are going to see it in your area here. That is my prayer. That one can only come to pass. And no, say, bet me Unless you forget the past. Just say you feed your chem. Unless you forget the past. Just say you feed your chem. P I W C atomic Kabenya. P I W C atomic Kabenya. We are hard to area. Yeah, we are hard to area. We are we are the first people to produce international mission director. Yeah, yeah, now you think I am the I am the other. We have got another international mission director here. After yeah, the I am the for Francois Ba. This that when I want you to forget some of these things. The person who refuse to say you may even. You have to forge ahead. Now for who pray call when him forgetting the past. Mar and that's my prayer this morning. When you read the book of Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19. Okay, yes, I have a tea. And you know, 18 to 19. And As I also say something here. Yes, I can say. As I for 3, 18 to 19. Isaiah, it's here at your name, yes, 18 to 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it will spring up. Do not perceive it. I am making a way. In the desert and streams in wasteland. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Forget it. The Lord has special ministry for you as you come to an area head here. The Lord is going to do anything her to area here. The past has been good. I believe. But there's better years. Ahead of us, because if say, our God is a progressive God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is what progressive God. Progressive God. Israel at Mount Horeb. Israel, our war horeb. So, the Lord, our God, said to us at Horeb. You have stayed long enough here. What's not a hard check? This mountain. Break camp. And advance. As the Lord spoke to the Israelites, so He's speaking to Hatu area here. Members, leaders, and all officers. Members, leaders, officers. So we should advance to higher heights. Until we move. Say and two and a more. The members will not move as officers. Members no so on near chiefs. Well, when we move, not see a two and a more. The church will move. I saw you be two and a more. Sometimes, if you are the members and officers, they rely upon so many past glories. Yeah, the members, the officers, no near my a chem na yede hua hua yeho. I want you to forget about those things. And as individuals as well, we should not relent on what the Lord has already done with us. But rather, we should focus on what is ahead of us. Having several years' experience is good. But it's not everything. And, so, and, and in many instances, such experiences can fight against the agenda of God. I want you to listen very well. This is a mystery. Sometimes our experiences is good. As an officer, say officer. As an apostle, say as a As a pastor, say a software. As a member of say the church. Sorry, no. Some member. of us have been here for so many years. If you are you are Experiences are good. See, but in many instances, and so in PP, you know, such experiences can fight against the agenda of God. If our spirit is not open to the new things of God is going to do, our experiences can fight, can fight against the agenda of God. I pray our experiences are good. 
But we should not use our experiences to disturb the agenda of God. God wants to do anything at your area here. A new height. A new move. But it depends how we manage ourselves. Depends how we manage ourselves. As I said, all the experiences we have got is good. But if you are not careful, your experiences can fight against the agenda of God. I pray all the experiences that you have got, you should submit under the canopy of God. If you submit under the canopy of God, what the Lord wants to do in her to area here, through our new area head, it will surely come to pass. It will surely come to pass. So why did God instruct Moses to consider breaking camp? Why God told him to do that? The journey from Egypt to a definite end, which was Canaan. That the promised land. So until they reach Canaan, all other destinations were to be considered temporary destinations. These temporary destinations, however, will led them to be promised land as the final destination. Maybe God knows what he's doing in the life of Apostle Jesado and the family. So all what you have been doing, maybe the promised land is Hatoere here. God wants you to use you to bless her to a people. So the final destination is her to area. The final destination is not Switzerland. The final destination is not uh, Senegal. The final destination is not Gabon. The final destination is not the office. But the final destination is her to area here. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to climb, you can climb. The final destination is her to God wants you to settle here to do his work and complete the ministry. The Israelites have spent 11 months, five days at Mount Horeb. And, and they have several encounters with the Lord, including the giving of the law and subsequent enacting of the covenant. Exodus chapter 19 verse 1 and Numbers 10 verse 11 to 12. Exodus 19 verse 1. Numbers 10 11 to 12. So that's where they enacting the covenant. Again it was here that the tabernacle and the related articles were built and made respectively. So somewhere, somehow, they had a bit comfortable at the foot of the mountain where they dwelt. However, it was time to enter the land of those who were, were considered skilled and fear warriors. Including, including the giant. It was time to break camp and advance to the land the Lord has sown to them. That was the time. They were comfortable. They were okay. So, in effect, you can ask them, well, then let's stay here for good. God has his own plan for everyone in this church. Maybe where you are staying, even though you are feeling comfortable there, but maybe there were greater things ahead of you. That's why transfer comes, transfer goes. Ministers go here, ministers go here. Sometimes you are comfortable, 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 where you, are, where you are staying. If you, are here, you, are in you wish you have been retired at that place. 
But that's not the mind of God. I am praying in the name of Jesus. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. Through his church. So the Lord said, No. You can't stay here. What means Naha? You can't stay here. What it means now? There are high highs for the church. Let us break camp and pursue these highs. Remaining part of the year 2021. And the years ahead. We have no time to waste as a church. I said we don't have time what? To waste as a church. We should break camp. And pursue higher heights. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us break camp. And advance in all our operational areas. Our ties. Our offerings. Our soul winning. Our baptism. Holy Spirit baptism. Discipleship. Home and other missions. We are possessing the nation agenda. That is our, our prayer. That should be our mission. But we should not remain comfortable where we are. We should pursue higher heights. We want to pick five practical lessons. Pursuing higher heights. Five practical lessons. Number one. If you can pursue high highs, you have to thank God for current and past achievements. You have to always thank God for that. As a church, we have every cause to thank and praise God for how He has how far he has brought us. Appreciating God what he has done for us is the first step to moving to the next level of achievement. And many times, we are so much consumed with our expectations. And we had to acknowledge the many things God has done in our lives. May such not be said of her to area. Let's be grateful to God. God has been so good to her to area. So you have to thank God for, your, for, for current and past achievements. We are able to thank God and praise God for what He has done through her to area. And you can pursue higher heights. And no, I bet me a frack or Higher heights. And pen pen so for fro. Higher heights. And pen pen so for fro. Higher heights. And pen pen so. Point number two. Yeah, toss to me. Pursuing higher heights, we should avoid complacency. You should avoid complacency. Complacency, we call it calm of satisfaction with your own abilities. And no, when you are so one casual modern more, or situation that prevents you from trying harder. And now to be a be a and two things are clear from this definition. We should not come to the point where we will attribute our achievement to our own abilities. And number two, we should not be carried away by our past achievement. Complacency is being comfortable. Something less than God's best for you. We should not be comfortable. We should not be comfortable with where we are as a church. But rather desire to move to a higher height. God is doing a new thing. We must all ensure that this is made manifested in our local assemblies. Familiarity breeds complacency. This has been the challenge of many Christians. They have become over familiar with holy things and others. So may, may not certain be said about us as a church. 
proficiency. So if you want to achieve higher heights, avoid complacency. If you want to achieve higher heights, we should avoid complacency. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Point number three. Yeah, also me, sir. You should be submissive to leadership. If you want to achieve high heights, we must submit to one another as a church. Those who the Lord has set over us. In this case, our area head, say area head, executive council, executive council, presbyters. Now for presbyters and our district ministers any uh, district pastors and the rest anyone here one of the means of submission is to identify yourself with the vision of the leader now, I know apostle Jesado coming here he has got his vision in line with vision 2023 a, a free year in vision 2023. No? So don't come and say, oh no, here that we don't do these things here. No, please. If you want to achieve high heights, submit to the leadership. The vision of the leader. And this goes especially to the officers. We should submit to the leadership. He has come with his own vision. His vision in line with vision 2023. Probably Apostle Bequin did is not going to do the same thing here. It's going to change certain things. Maybe what? Apostle Bobby did appear to him. He's not going to do the same thing here. He's not going to do the same thing. So submit to his leadership. Because we are all in line with the division 2023. Submission will require that as much as possible. Cooperate with your leader. And importantly, work with church policies. Church policies, you should work with it. Where is your loyalty? When you do not work with church policies, you have to work with church policies. Are you understanding? What the church has to do, you have to do it. If you want to achieve high heights, be submissive. Avoid complacency. Hallelujah. Amen. Where you disagree with your leader, express your view in love. For there, there still there can be unity of unity in diversity. If we say say ye nya dream pa ye bet me akabo my ejuma. So be in love, express your sentiment in love. Point number four. The also nine. If you want to achieve high heights, as a church. Say a sorry. Waiting, we have to wait on him for fresh grace and direction. If you want to achieve high heights, as a leaders, as a church, we should have enough time to wait upon him for fresh grace and direction. The closer we get to him, the closer we get to him, the closer we get to him. The more we are able to, to preview to the vast territories yet to be conquered. And the more we are more empowered to do greater things. To get closer to him. And the more you get closer to him. He will show you the vast territory you are supposed to conquer. There are many small, small things maybe within her area which is maybe is hidden. But when I, I know, when you continue to pray, the Lord will, will unveil all these things to you. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's my prayer. When leaders waited upon the Lord, 
Our members become satisfied. Yeah, members know so what me. And when members they come to church, they come to church with more desire. What they are going to to, fa- to have encounter with God. So we should lift our services to the level when coming to church. It will not be a duty. No, you will not be a duty that you are coming to church. It's my duty to come to church. I want you to explain that very well. We should lift our services as leaders. As a new area head. We should lift ourselves to the level. When members are coming to church, they will not take they're coming to church as a duty. But a rather, a holy desire to have an encounter with God. Are you getting me, church? So coming to church will not be a duty. Going to work is your duty to go to work. But coming to church is going to pursue higher grounds. And the members are more filled up. Coming to church will have a desire to have an encounter with God. Have an encounter with God. So our church will not be an ordinary services. This can only happen when leadership spend enough time in his presence. In his presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Point number E. Be disciplined. We want to pursue higher heights. Discipline is lifestyle. It's a pattern of behavior. Where one gets to the point in life. Where you choose or the person chooses to know. That you should do rather than what you want to do. Discipline involves giving up everything you have. Or hold on to which does not follow the approved path. That's discipline. Does not follow the approved path. Hold on to which to follow the approved path. If you want to achieve high heights, be disciplined. Discipline coming to church on time. Your personal devotion. personal devotion. Involving yourself in church activities. All the interventions. Schools outreach mission. Schools outreach. Chieftaincy. Children ministry. Everything, everything you have to get yourself involved. So if you want her to, to reach higher heights, things should not be normal. So you are talking about discipline. We must be disciplined to pursue with diligence. What we ought to do. Getting over satisfied with what we have already accomplished. Again, it will take discipline to pursue what the Lord directs us to do. We need discipline. I want to run off the message. Do not remain here. Seek to pursue higher heights. Pray, Kosro. Tell your sister, your brother, please do Kat, not remain here. Please. please do not remain here. Pursue higher heights. Pray, Kosro. There are many highs territory ahead of us. We need to catch all those people. Those are perishing. They need us. 
To God be the glory. For however you have brought her to area. However, we have to remind ourselves that as an area, there are high heights for us to reach. So it is also with us as individuals in our respective ministries. We should not remain at where we are now. We should seek to look at the higher picture. Bigger picture of what God has for us as individual and as an area. May the Lord, who has called us into various capacities, continue to keep us and preserve us as we mobilize ourselves to our next level of achievement in our various callings. And may her to area be positioned where it has been ordained to be. I know God has so much to do with Apostle Jesado. He's going to move this area to higher heights. Greater things is going to happen. We pray every lukewarmness to give way and we shall move forward. Do not remain here. Pursue higher heights. I am pressing on. I am pressing on. Press on. Apostle Paul said, not only I have obtained this, I have made perfect, but I press on. Forgetting what is behind. Forget what is behind. I want you to press on. Press on. Press on. Than the greater heights. The more you press on, the Lord will surely visit the area. That will be my prayer. And I know the Lord is with you. Press on. Press on. Press on. God bless you. Apostle Fianco will pray with us. Shall we humbly be upstanding? Pastor, I'm sorry. Give us thy grace, O oh Lord. Thy grace we need. Thy grace, O oh Lord, we, we need. plead. To do, 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 do your way. Give us thy grace, oh Lord. Thy grace we need. Thy grace, oh Lord. We plead to. Thy grace, O oh Lord, we need to do your will. As human beings, it is very, very likely for us to be complacent because when you achieve, you have this emotional happiness. If you say, Udru hua na watenka, amen. And you are likely to rest on your OS. Now, one say ya, obetiada. As human beings. Say, enipa. That is why we need the intervention of God's power called grace. So that our flesh will be crucified and we will see things from the perspective of our Lord Jesus Christ. So that the two things our apostles share with us will be able to forget the past. And focus on the future. We'll be able to rid off the ashes and take fresh fire of revival. We want to pray just one prayer to pray. Lord, give us the intervention of grace. Shall we begin to pray? Lord, 
Lord, we pray this morning. We come before you as human beings. We have the tendency, the patience of resting over our elders and oh Lord, depending on our strength and priding ourselves in our past, the things that we have achieved. Therefore, Lord, we pray that you will give us the intervention of your grace, the power of God to crucify our flesh, to crucify, oh God, every pride of life in our hearts so that we will always be able to get attached to the new things you've promised to do. It will not be said of us, O oh Lord, that the curve of the great things you are doing in our life plotted against time will taper in the name of Jesus. We will always have a positive gradient in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Lord and Master Jesus, we want to thank you this morning for such an insightful word because your word is a light unto our feet and a lamp unto our path. Because of the tendency for us to rest in the pride of life and in our flesh, we are likely to be complacent as you use us over time to achieve great things for your work. Therefore, this morning we pray that Lord, fill us with the glorious intervention of grace so that our strength will be crucified and your strength will prevail. For it is you who work in us both to will and to do according to your purpose. We thank you, we bless you, and commit the rest of the program into your hands. Take absolute control, precedence, and let your sovereignty reign. In the name that is above every other name, at the mention of which every knee bows and every tongue confess that you alone are God. To the glory of the Father. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. See you in higher heights. Um, we want to quickly pick, take our tithes and offerings so the ushers and our deaconesses should help us. We praise Him. Be on stage. Let's kindly be on our feet as we bring our offering. And you, Nyam Ka, Nyam Yekwama, was so, so. And you, Nyam Ka, Nyam Yekwama, was so, so.
Wacha wolo Wacha wako koko Nanije Wacha wolo Wacha wako koko Kachi ya mawa wapi Mawa awoja sabi ya nito Wacha chelo Wacha wako koko Can you put your hands together? That is International Worship Center, PRWC. We sing all kinds of songs in all, in all languages. Can you put your hands together for the team? They are wonderful people. Don't they, they, they have not sung French song. That's one thing minus. So you have to learn French song. So you'll be singing French song as well. We will quickly zoom, zero, zoom into the second part of the program. We want to know the person the Lord has brought to Hacho area here. Uh, the profile. We shall try to summarize it in a few points. There's no need to. You know him more when he comes here. Maybe some of you already know him. But he's come to stay with you for some years, so you know him more. Uh, after going through his profile, then we shall ask those to bring their songs. The conductor will help to do that. So we humbly ask Apostle Jesado and the family to be upstanding. Here's the family. One is not here. He has four, four children. Two get 
And they are all here. Uh, sorry. The family. You know, Apostle Jesado is Apostle Emmanuel Jesado. That is full name. But I was trying to know his uh, the day that he was born. Other Kwame Kwesi or Kujo, I've tried Kofi. Uh -huh. So Kofi Jesado, that is name. Apostle Emmanuel Kofi Jesado, and Mama uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you are ya, and I see ya. So I've passed. That's great. So ya uh, Jesado. He, she's maiden name is Ya Enin. And then Ya Jesado. Uh, the, these are the children. Mrs. Eunice. Mama Jesua. Ble. Ble Ma. Your, your name? Ble Mado. Uh -huh. That's the real American name. So, Amma Jesua, is it Amma, Amma Jesua? Where is Amma Jesua? Uh, yeah. So, my daughter too is called Jesua. Uh -huh. So, she's Jesua. And then the other one is Elder Doctor Nana Safu Jesiado. Elder Doctor. Uh -huh. Doctor is he's very quiet. Always don't want him to see he's a doctor, but he's a medical doctor. Uh -huh. He's a doctor. And then the other one is uh, Mami Ya Etiba. Yeah, uh -huh. That's fine. And then Emmanuel Jesado Jr. So Jr. is taller than uh, the medical doctor. So this is the family, wonderful family. And the um, Etiba, the husband is here. Uh -huh. So there's a part of the family. So this is the family you are going to work with them. Uh, Apostle, please, can you turn yourself for them to see you? I want them to see you. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. And then he, as I told you, is his credentials are many. We can, he has pastored so many years up to this place. And the position he has had in the church, uh, some of them is international mission director, Chairman, National Ministerial Committee. He has interviewed many ministers for the past 10 years. He was our chairman, a very hard-working chairman. The Secretary of Mission Board, member Pentecost University Council, and member Pentecost Theological Seminary Board. That's numerous. So I think you will know him as he come here. Uh, we don't want to go through all this a lot. Lord. So this is the man you are going to work with him. He has passed for so many years. He has got vast experience. As I said, he's going to blend his experience with the grace and the power of God to move her to area. So God bless you, our dear apostle. All right. We want to allow to you to bring your welcome songs. You have sung, but uh, because of we have some few minutes, we are going to allow you to then those nations and other areas who are here because of our dear apostle, you can come forward and bring your welcome songs. And then after that, you sit, take your seat. And after that, the missions office staff and head office staff who are here can also bring their song. You are the only missionary who are here. So they are from Kenya. So the missionaries, the nations, and other areas. Or if you are, if are not from Hatcho area, you can also come forward and bring your song. If you are not from Hatcho area, those from other areas who have come here, can you come forward and you bring your song? Quickly, can you do that? Almighty God, Almighty God, all nations shall praise your name. Oh, 
constituency, your friend mission's office, and the head of his staff saying, now, so now, what bond you want you about? And you're not here, now, you're ready to come back to now, Yabo Aforin. I am the Lord, the God of all take our second offering and as we did it with the tithes I humbly ask the ushers to guide us in the same way whilst we take our second offering with a song from the mass choir thank you greatest to be praised his mercy's over us, all his words. Let's kind of be honest with us. Let's sing greatest, greatest. Hallelujah, you are 
God, you are not just ego, you are not just not you are a great God, let's sing you, oh God, you are God, hey, you, you are, are not just ego, you are not just hey, you are not just receiving of our incoming area head and wife. And to do that, we call on Apostle Anna Nidente and Mrs. Gifty Bremenso. I think we can. We can do it down there before we do the race. Apostle Anna Nidente is representing the head office no, I am this, and I head office, principal officer, I head office. So, his duty station is from head office. So, Apostle Anne Dente will do that on behalf of the headquarters, and Mama Bremen Su will also do that for two. So, we are inviting two from the area women's leader, and then the area deacon also to come forward. Area women's leader and area women's deacon. In the person of, if you can get their names, you have to know them. Would you know? Okay. So please quickly do it fast. We, we don't want to say that. What my about your pastor, listen, apostles, please don't say that one. About some time when we come, you have not taken of them. We can come and pick. Them. I don't want to hear that, please. Don't make that remarks. Praise the Lord. We are most grateful to the Lord God Almighty for his grace. And I'm personally delighted to do this thing because uh, Apostle Jesiado has been my boss. I served under him in missions for six years. So I'm very happy today that the executive council and the head office management has, have actually asked me to present him. So on behalf of the dear chairman, the general secretary, the head of his management, may I present Apostle Imajesiadu to you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit as the area head for Hachu. So may you applaud to the glory of God. Apostle, God bless you and I salute you for your mentorship and for your guidance. As the speaker has said, I know that all these things will be brought to bear and this area will move to a higher 
height. God bless you. On behalf of the chairman and the executive council, the missions board, Medina area, and East Legon districts, which we've enjoyed so much from our mom, I hand over Mrs. Elizabeth Yajesiado to you. May the Lord be with you. On behalf of Hacho Area Executive and the Thai Presbytery, we humbly welcome you with so much gladness in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And on behalf of the Women Ministry, that's Hacho Area, we humbly welcome you, Mommy. For the East Legon people, just take heart. You are in good hands. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Can you put your hands together? Now they have handover to Hatcho area. Uh, we want to introduce the officers, the key officers. We only pick the executive. Uh, after that, you see, we pray for you. Then follow the rest. The executive committee members, the area executive, please, if you listen, you hear your name, you come forward for our dear apostle to see you. You are the chairman for the executive committee in Hacho area. Pastor John Viscount Ako, secretary. I think when you stand here, you will see you better. He is the secretary. He was helping me to moderate the service. And Pastor Henry Sowa Akunai, member. Pastor Emmanuel Opondonko. Uh, Elder Peter Kwesi Tepe. Elder Professor Benjamin Nyaku. Elder Evans Eim. By God's grace, as you are aware, we have added our women ministry leaders, the leader area, as corporate members of the area executive committee. Dickness Charlotte Amagache. And then Dickness Hannah Bonso. Kind permission. These are the executive committee members who are going to work with them. Uh, you will know them and they also know you more as you take office. Thank you and God bless you. You can take your seat. We can add the, uh, the ministry leader and assistant. The Evangelism leader, Pastor Yao Ejenim Bwati, and Elder M. Ishmael Ejekumihene. Ejekumihene. Okay. Can you come first because time is against us? And then women ministry, Dickness, Charlotte Amagache, and Hannah Bonsu. Sorry to bring you back again. Youth, Pastor Benjamin Atta. Another Eric Atasonu. Atasonu. Children, Pastor Henry Akonai and Elder Samuel Ohinokwachi. Men, Elder Alex Tre, Benjamin Pra. Elder Benjamin Pra, Pastor Alex Tre, and Benjamin Pra. Benjamin Pra. And then, um, I think these are the main key. Uh, ministry leaders. The rest, you know them when they you took office. 
So I think these are the people, the ministry leaders, the leader and assistants, you are going to work with them. Thank you very much. You resume your seat. We are going to pray. We are going to pray for him. After praying for him, he will respond. But when coming to respond, he should, he should bring all his, the children should help him to bring all his things. But when he respond, after praying for him, when he responds, he's going to take over his seat. And then we, the service will come to a close. So I'm inviting all the apostles here, both retired and active, to go down and help us to pray for our dear apostle and the family. Prayer for the area ahead. Can you be all upstanding? Shall we stretch our hands over them as we move forward to pray for them? Can we all go down? This is the family. We are going to pray for them. Can you stretch your hands upon them? Shall we all pray together for grace, for favor, for strength, as the Lord want them to use them to handle the actual area? Pray. Pray for your area head. Pray what you want him to do at this area. Pray for him. That the Lord will use you to do it. Pray for him. Pray for him. That the Lord give him grace. Give him grace. She ran, oh she did me so some conquer Church of Pentecost, boy, a moasi, Eddie Maunyami, what can ye or was Surum? What say a boy a catcher and say, Woma a can ye and moyenda? Nada obe ye nimpa, O commando, now the number a sorry a can ye. Yes, she now can fall or dos run quan, where the actual was sorry. In pen pen, so it is say you. And was more bony, yes, yard, and in a bush, yeah, or how to a remo. In needing county, I mean, what you would do as need a senate, yeah. I own cook, and I'll bought quite two baby a quine. I own cook, 
ene oku abu obi ahu nsafoa na odi nsafo no menim pa de sene a odi wa achi inte enne ane pei no igina somafo ene asofo ene asafo mpanimfo ene asolto nyina ne e pejo bu ni no obusua se wunya me twedi ampon wonsa wa wuhu ni sie yi abro ye boja toda ni na yem yi ni ma wa sor ni oman ni na chinchin emi poso ene emon semu esre so ne kwaye mu na ene pempen so inso odi na bedru ye nchen e radi tunfo nya mi e ti won sakano ne takrema ma oja efi aforo mo kanu so enka na anu na fa engo aso na so na wateni efi unya me kunkun ni no ho na wateni nsa ewo chimi mu edna ya mon wan dinin sankirani a inte wa soma no chimi nyina uran yakopon a wo ma ekwan da epontem na wo ma nanti mo wonan ka hasio na ma wo dia yeyi ni adwon tu ju jeru kwa fasio guo onya me ma wo sasoma wo bo ni urade ni awa shira no ni wa shira no ma wo dum bo sio ento mu one na yiri ene ne ma so asase a odi ne ne ti asu yi no ma ni hu hu ento asase so na aboni fo ni chimi bi re di hine no wa fa ne ba so so adwiru ni nyina na brisu yi no ma ha cho emma no ho so ma ha cho enya nu onyam ma ha cho ni hu hu entra fa wi asafa ne nyina ni enka se nyame osoma na koa no wadi nkunima ma na asori asori tumi asori ho den asori ishira asori akwanchire asori moburo hunu enya mo chefa abra mo age area yi ato mo nansi onyame a wo hu musi no oni mo nim kan da na ontintin mo na mo no ma na sampa no enya mo na se kania onyame aja oba ほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほ
Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. Great things he has done, and greater things will he continue to do. The Jesiado family is profoundly thankful to the Lord God Almighty for the gift of life and health and for how far he has brought us. We want to thank the chairman of the church, Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the general secretary, and the entire executive council, the general council, the missions board. These are bodies that we've had the opportunity and the privilege of working very, very closely with. And if we are where we are today, apart from the grace of God, it is also by their help and collaboration. And we want to say a big thank you to all of them. I want to thank the missions office staff who are here. You have been a great, great, great help to us in our 10 years work as international missions director. You have been part, an integral part of the success story of missions. And we want to salute all of you. Including all my personal assistants from Pastor Monu to Pastor Kwatin and Pastor Gideon Buedu Irenchi and their wives. You have been awesome. We say God bless you. God bless you all. We want to thank the Medina area, the area apostle, the area executive, my local assemblies, or my districts first. I have two districts. I served actively in two districts. It used to be one district, and then later it was split. And so the East Legon district, and now the Rima Worship Center. These are the, my local assemblies that we, we worship there, all the family. And they are here today. Sorry. They have followed us here today. They were here last week, and they are here today. And uh, including uh, Mrs. Nati and all the rest, and uh, Obin Jesse and the rest, we want to thank all of you for coming. We want to thank the area executive of Hacho, all the members, officers and members of Hacho area. We arrived yesterday in the evening and they were all over the place putting things in place to welcome us. We are very, very grateful for your reception. We want to thank our fathers, our retired ministers and their wives who have come to grace this occasion all ministers and wives who have come from far and near, our missionaries who are here today uh, from East Africa and from all over, we want to thank you. Um, we have Mrs. Linda Enin here, uh, the wife of the national head of Austria. Uh, give us a wave. God bless you. Um, and then we want to thank our families. Our families have been with us from day one, and they are always with us, supporting us, giving us all the necessary support that we needed, and they are here today. The Jesiadu family and the Enin families, we want to say God bless you for being our support over the years. We want to thank everyone who has come today. 
if you have not mentioned your name, we wanted to avoid the temptation of mentioning a lot of names because we can't mention them all. But wherever you are and wherever you are sitting and whatever you have contributed to our ministry and to the ministry of the Church of Pentecost, we want to say a big thank you. Now, the, the children have been introduced to you, but I just wanted to, um, because they were, they were facing this way, you may not have seen them well. Um, as we said, Eunice is the PC. Uh, any Mrs. Eunice Ama Jesua Blemadu. She is here. She lives in the United States with her husband. And she came because of this meeting. Uh, and then the second one is Elder Dr. Nana Safo Jesiado, um, who currently is working with the 37 Military Hospital. And then we have, oh, Oh, okay, because of, the, because of Fifi, otherwise. And then we have Mrs. Mamiya Etziba uh, with her husband, Elder, Elder Mark Etziba. Elder Mark Etziba is a senior uh, manager with the KPMG. She's an accountant who works with the audit firm KPMG. And Mrs. Oh, sorry. Hey, I've given you your father's name. <laughs> Elder Erastus, Elder Erastus Kwesi Etiba, yes. Uh, his father is Mark Etiba, he is Erastus Etiba. And then his wife, Mrs. Mamiya Etiba Esquire, he, she is a practicing lawyer. And then last but not, definitely not least, not least, he is taller than, apart from Mamiya, he is taller than all of us. <laughs> So this is Emmanuel Jr., not just Yadu Jr. He studied business administration with UPSA. And so this is the family, and then Emmanuel and Elizabeth. Um, so we are here to work with you to um, advance the course of the kingdom of God through the vision 2023 of the Church of Pentecost. We want to work together with you. Uh, today, God has, has surprised me. The word he, he put into my heart, just one verse, uh, when the, the prophecy came, and then the word of God ministered by my good friend and brother, Apostle Michael True. Uh, but mine is Revelation 4 and verse 1. Revelation 4 and verse 1, and it reads, After this I looked, and there before me was a door standing open in heaven, and the voice I, ha I, had, I had first heard speaking to me like a trumpet said, Come up here. Come up here. This is the word God leads on my heart. Come up here. It means no matter where we have reached, we can still come up. God's invitation to us is to come up to his level. And the word of God today and the prophecies have confirmed that. And we know the Lord who has spoken will fulfill it. Thank you so much and God bless you all. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of chairman and also on behalf of the actual area, this is the handover notes from, so they will help mommy to sit down at her seat. The, the, the area women's leader should help mommy. This, so this is the handover notes where prepare structured handover notes from Apostle Emmanuel Bequin, the International Mission Director and then to uh, Apostle Emmanuel Gisado, as he takes over as uh, the area head for Hachuria. So I hand over this notes to you. All right, so you will be sitting here.
Ah, you know, this is the area head seat. So you can take your seat. So we hand over her to area to you. So on behalf of the church, behold your new area head. So we take our announcement and then we do the presentation. The first announcement announcement is that today at two PM we have preacher kids. It's a national program. Preachers kids, the final stage, the grand finale. So we are all invited to be part of this nationwide program. It starts at thank you. It starts at 1.30. 1.30 we should be here to be part of this great program. And then the next thing is that there will be an inaugural program, inauguration of Chief Tansi Ministry, also here in Atomic Atomic Auditorium on Thursday. September 23rd, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. is slated for inauguration of Chief Tansi Ministry. That is also a national program. Then, next Sunday, that was today's week, 26th of September, we have book launching. This voluminized book. Is written by our dear apostle Vincent Anani Dente, Revitalizing Mission and Missiology, the way forward in the 21st century. It's about 957 pages. It is very, the volume is very great. We are encouraging all of us to come. It is coming on on 26th September, that is today's week at 2 p.m. in this same auditorium. Let's all come and support this right cause. Chairman is having intercessory prayer on Zoom every Tuesday from 10.30 p.m. to 12 o'clock a.m. in the night. So we want all of us to join. Chairman is having intercessory prayer globally on Zoom every Tuesday from 10.30 p.m. to 12 a.m. Now, on 25th September, which is come Saturday, there's going to be a lunch on Ham Nation Possesses, Ham Nation Possesses at James McKeon Temple in Ashama, that is Ashama Central, Saturday, September 25th, 2021, at 2 p.m. Every district in Hachu area is to be represented by 53 participant at least 53 participant so all districts are to mobilize their members and send them for the luncheon activity we all know this week is uh, ministries evangelism rallies at the local level so whatever activities and schedules that are being put in place we should follow it and do this great exercise for our church in order to possess the nations. May God bless us. Praise the Lord. We want to remind ourselves of our activities for the week. Um, Tuesday is a holiday, public holiday. And the resident minister has scheduled a meeting with 
all young people in the church, all members of the youth ministry, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. in this very auditorium. All young people, you, are have, you have a schedule to meet with the resident minister for our prayer marathon. Prayer marathon. Please be here as much as possible. Please fast. Let's be here, pray, and see God touch all of us. Amen. 9 a.m. Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, we have Redemption Hour, Redemption hour at 9 o'clock. We want to encourage as many of us as possible to be here. Thursday, we have Kratos. Kratos prayer service starting at 6. We want to encourage all of us to leave our workplaces on time so we can go through the traffic and be here for the prayer service. Friday, um, Atomic Assembly will be having the Hour of Grace prayer meeting um, in the lower ground auditorium. In the end, you are no more and more Atomic Assembly. You know, you say, I say, Friday, and you pray, you have Hour of Grace prayer meeting in our lower ground auditorium. Time now is 6 p.m. Then on Saturday, we have Mount Zion prayer meeting from 6 a.m. Let's all do well to be here. Sunday, we'll have our services in the normal streams. Morning, joy, sunrise here. The youth will be having the two services also there. Atomic Assembly will be meeting in the lower ground auditorium. French will be meeting in the French church hall. So let's take note of these ones. All the other announcements will be on the platform. Let us kindly take note. God bless you. So Sunday, it's a gospel Sunday, which will be climaxing the week-long National Evangelism Rally. So please let's remember to invite somebody to church on Sunday. And like Pastor Apple just said, we're starting the National Ministries Rally from tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, the youth ministry will be starting, and we'll give you the specific on our platform. But the choir will be there with us. The choir will minister, the gospel will be shared, and the, everyone else is also invited. It's the ministry leading and everyone supporting them. So please, let's make it a point to be ready tomorrow at 6 p.m. for us to win souls for the Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. I just want to, there is a clarification on the inter-ministries, rarities, slated for 20, 20th to 26th of this month. We, it was earlier announced when the ministers met here, that was last week, that local assemblies who are not capable, either two or three may come together to do the rally. But it has now been established that every local assembly should make an effort to do the rally on its own. So we are not going to encourage uh, the circumstance where two local assemblies are brought together just because their numbers are not so huge. So please take note of this so that the local and the respective local assemblies that we have in the area, each of them is going to embark on this uh, rally. So that is the clarification that I want to give to all of us. Thank you very much, uh, dear chair. I'm saying for the year, can I say, your uh, announcement, and now your bar ministers and white prayer meeting has said, local assemblies are your number, no, and your casino. You bet me a key, more bumunia, yes, are rare, no, and ministries in our area. But say, say, no, and what the horse say, look at Bia and Yanadia, let us say, we nipper, a ducra, we nipper, dunumucra, more mumbo, more than a more organizing home. Never twentieth, a copium twenty six. Uh, thank you for your patience uh, because it's two service at one go. That's why we are inviting our dear area head of Hacho, Apostle Jesado, to give a closing prayer after that benediction. Good morning, young couple. You did not see me in your young mouth. Oduma, Odi Oduma, yeh, and Kwa Odi Ache. I no pay in so oho on fire ayati. Ewo yentem. What's the ma Odi Anya yeh? Yenfi we nim 
ya da soa wo wanim e yare ko yi no mi wura ma wanim pa ne yen ko e bibiara ye fi baaye ene be bia ye ko no wo dum to me in sa e de yen baaye nara en ya o ye di yen anim fa yen ko do de ye ko asumdwe mu kwansi di ne sane ne amane bia e wo kwen mu ye bom pa ye wo yen wura yesu kristo di mu e yi ne nyina e firi ho na ye bie kwen mu eto ho se nyame ma be kwa ko do de wo ko asumdwe mu na ye beti wo nka no na wo bro so e wo nyuma pa e nyina mu ye ho en shira mu e rade ntine ne mo nchira mu e rade hye mu hie nyina ma se de na hunyate e amade e nyina mu mo di adanse a motimi ni david ya adwene aka se e rade ne me hwefo na hwe e hia me jesus christ din no mu amen e da masi bebre amen shira mu nyina Thank mm-hmm. you.